Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a crane truck for all of your city building and construction building needs. This tutorial was designed and made to be part of a much larger tutorial, which is my building site. It is meant to go hand in hand with this, although it's not strictly necessary, but if you haven't built the construction site already or perhaps some of the other vehicles associated with this build in particular, feel free to check them all out in the card system, the description below and the top of the comment section. You'll find links to every single one of those. So if you've missed one or if you want to make them in a particular order, feel free to have a look down there. But without any further ado, Let's get started. This is the amount of space required to make the crane truck, a 15 by three block area as represented by the white concrete grid on the ground, which I would more than recommend that you make if you are planning out a city or perhaps a build that has some cramped spaces. Here are all of the materials that we will need to make our truck. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. So if you've made the grid, I want you to come all the way towards the back end of it. Pick a corner, any corner, it literally doesn't matter which one, and I want you to move inwards from that corner, one, two. Place a gray concrete, and then one to the left. Then place a smooth stone slab, three upside down polished and inside stairs, one, two, three, a smooth slab, two gray concretes, one, two, two smooth slabs, one, two, extend the smooth slab across by two, one, two, and then copy the row that you have just made previously. So all of the slabs, all of the stairs, all of the gray concrete, just copy it onto this side and everything will work out nicely. We then have to place on the ends of the truck two additional rows of smooth stone slabs and we just have to join them together. You'll actually end up with a nice symmetrical shape like this. We're going to fill the center of it in using smooth stone slabs like that. And now we're going to focus on the front of the truck. So a blast furnace is going to be placed in the middle front of the truck with yellow concretes either side. Extend the yellow concretes backwards by one, add black concrete behind, join them together, add another row on top, add glass pane on top of the yellow concretes and also the blast furnace, you'll have to crouch for that. Then behind the truck cabin, I suppose that this is kind of like the cabin, that's where one would drive the truck, you then want to place an entire row of yellow concrete like this. We then want to come towards the back of the truck and on the back two corners here, we want to move one row inwards and place a yellow concrete either side. Extend the yellow concrete forwards by two, one, two, one, two, join it together. On the middle, but actually on the entire front of this, place a row of glass pane. On the right side, we want to add another glass pane and then behind that, a yellow concrete. On the left side, we want two yellow concrete, so you can see how that is skewed a little bit. Place an additional yellow concrete on top of each one of those two yellow concretes and extend the yellow concretes forwards. They want to extend all the way forwards until they sit on top of the cab of the truck, to which we then want to extend a further two blocks, one, two, and stick a button on the end. Also, whilst we have buttons, place buttons on the sides of the wheels, just like this. Perfect. So now that we have placed all of that, I don't know if we're going to be returning to... Actually, I do know this. So first of all, I want you to place polished and insight slabs in a row straight up the middle of the bed of the truck like this and then we can swap materials. I was, I had to cut myself off, but basically I was going to say, I don't know if we'll need any of these materials in the future. We did actually, just right then. So, we're now going to grab end rod, chain, hopper, string, smooth quartz stairs, red carpet, white carpet, yellow carpet, oak doors. So, first of all, we're, we're gonna need the yellow concrete back again. Anyway, so, 
<laughs> Come towards the front of the truck and we want to make like a little crane sort of attachment. So it's basically a chain hanging off the end of the truck. Hopper underneath just like that. Perfect. The next thing that we want to do is we want to place two chairs. So smooth quartz stairs inside the cab and also inside the like the little crane part of the build too. The oak door is basically just a door that allows us to, well, we, we can't literally get in here, but I want it to look as though one can actually get inside of the little crane operated part. I'm going to place alternating red and white carpets along the side of the truck bed. Um, I researched, you know, crane trucks a little bit and they all seem to have that sort of like little pattern and I like the little bit of color that gets added to the build through it. Okay, so string is going to be used here specifically in the front of the front of the truck and I'm going to place yellow carpet for the top of the truck. You could even use black if you wanted to, but yellow seemed to fit a little bit better for me. Um, and on the back of the truck, I'm going to add string, but the top of this is actually going to be black. I'm even considering making the middle block black here or maybe even the front strip of that black as well. So, we need to keep end rods out, but now I'm going to grab the yellow concrete, black concrete, black carpet, tripwire, hook ladder, item frames, white concrete, and red concrete. Okay, so what are all these for? First of all, item frames are going to be placed on the front of the truck with uh, white concrete in them, and also on the back of the truck, hanging off the bottom of the back of the truck with red concrete. So, just to add a little bit of detail. What are the tripwire hooks for? So these are going to look like little door handles on the front of the cab of the truck. They're just placed pretty much in the middle of the cab like where the glass is. So the ladder is if you think that the grill looks better having a grill rather than just a blast furnace there. Now the back here, I I don't know whether this block here even the I don't know whether I like it all in yellow. I don't know whether I like this part with a black front. I don't know whether I like this with a yellow concrete either side. I don't know whether I like this with a, a, just a row of black concrete and that as well. I, I don't know, so I, I'd prefer it if you guys can, whatever you like design wise for the back, you know, feel free to incorporate it. So I do definitely want to have black carpet for the top of this, I just I'm not 100% sure about the sides, but I think that I think that that looks pretty good. But you you might have a differing opinion, so feel free to change it. So, uh, you know this is why Bedrock sucks, and this is why Java is better. I'm sorry, guy. I play on Bedrock. Bedrock is almost exclusively what I play build on. This is where my city build is. But in Java, you can place item frames above carpet here right you cannot in bedrock so if you are are in java i would recommend that you place item frames with with white concrete in them at the back part of the build here because it enhances the crane alternatively i suppose for us bedrock players us bedrock plebs um we can place Instead, I guess we can just destroy that and maybe I mean maybe we don't have to get rid of all of the carpet But maybe we just shrink it towards the crane like that. I I guess that that's kind of what we've got to compromise with But um, I would prefer if the red carpet was all the way towards the back of the crane But I guess that once again, this is that's a compromise Okay Last two things that we're gonna do all we need is anvil and rod and yellow concrete So I want to place an anvil hanging down here so like the connection from the crane to the truck here uh yellow concrete leave a gap of two yellow concrete opposite opposing end rods i feel as though it just kind of makes the train the train the crane look a little bit more hydraulic it just makes it look a little bit more mechanical i think it looks better regardless ladies and gentlemen that is your super simple crane truck complete that is going to be the last of the vehicles i think unless i do come up with some more i i think that six might be enough though of construction vehicles for the city so this is what your crane truck will look like once it has been 100% fully completed, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you have enjoyed making this tutorial as much as I enjoyed designing and making it myself. If you are new to the channel and if you 
First of all, if you did enjoy this, please hit that like button, as that really helps me and the channel out very, 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 very much. Really does. I'd really appreciate that. Hit that like. But if you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing, clicking that little bell next to the subscription button, and making sure that all of the notifications are turned on so that you can get all of my other cool builds sent directly to your sub box. We are now finished with the construction site, so of course we will be moving on to something else that's really super awesome for our city next week. If you would like to make any of what you can see on the screen in front of you and stuff that you can't even rarely see, then check out the card system, the description below, and the top of the comment section for, number one, all of the tutorials involved in the construction site and the building of the construction site. There are seven in total, believe it or not, so feel free to check all of those out. And I'll also be leaving a link to the City Builds playlist, which is a huge playlist well over a hundred videos strong um, that will show you how to make loads of really cool stuff as well. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.